I never have what I want in this store. Y'all, it is so hard to find a freaking camera mount for the car. I saw one on Amazon and I'm thinking about ordering it, but I just don't feel like waiting on it. Hello? Yes? Yeah, I don't have those anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. None at it's all, like for go. inside the car. Yeah, we uh, we don't carry those anymore. So the best way you can go Amazon. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Alrighty. Well. There we go. We're ordering it because nobody thinks that this is an important accessory. He want the scoop, she want the tea, she want the tea. I get that speak, we keep it in the street, we keep it in the street. I took a loss, but you still gon' get beat. You still gon' get beat. How much it costs? It never been cheap. It never been cheap. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up, turn your click up, dog. Turn them up, tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up. So I just hit up my sister and told her to order my car mount. I could have ordered it myself. I just cut my expenses this year um, and I do not pay for Amazon Prime. It's just not something I wanted to pay for anymore so I didn't. But for situations like this, I'm grateful that somebody that I know does because I can get my car mount tomorrow. Anyways, we're gonna be in this car for a while. I gotta run some errands. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go pick up some deliveries that I was supposed to pick up. Um, and then I'll have to get my kids.
good morning um today i'm going to go handle some errands y'all i love handling errands while my kids are at school so i'm in this car a lot but anyways my mount came now i'm kind of nervous because this is a very tiny box but we're gonna open that together i just did my nails as you saw love 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 my nail technique i never go to the nail shop anymore um yeah don't got time for that nails are super cute never need a refill when they break i can easily apply them again so never walking around with broken nails i walk around with the glue um and the powder i don't have the powder today because i just applied it but like they last like two weeks and on that second week you have some that just like kind of wear and tear just a little bit it doesn't happen often but it does happen a little bit and so i keep the glue and the acrylic just in case it's always like one or two nails if i'm just being super rough thinking i'm wearing acrylic or something but anyway the mount came so i'm gonna set that up before i get going like i said the box is super small they came with a lot of attachments I'm actually not mad that it's small because my camera and my mic is pretty big. So I don't want it to be like sitting on my windshield. So actually not mad at that at all. This is what it looks like. I'm not really going to do a real unboxing. I got things to do. Um, I really got things to do, but didn't come with much. Bunch of different adjustment pieces. Um, let's open this suction cup i hope you're strong this is the actual mount let me see that pretty high quality it doesn't feel super cheap um so let's play with it oh i lied the way i just moved that and the way it's like clicking it's giving super cheap you hear that oh, don't break it destiny pretty sure i'm doing that right but it's just like I guess it's like sturdy and don't want to move as easily because it is mounting high expensive cameras but um, let's put this camera on there and then I'll probably film so you guys can actually see it up there let me get situated one second big fail it okay so I found this linked from a YouTuber who does a lot of car vlogs and traveling and she says this is the one she used but this does not stick to that surface it does not stick to that surface so yeah we can't do that today that's really sad because I wanted a mount <sighs> I'm gonna keep playing with this because I'm not giving up. It sticks to the window, but it does not stick to my dashboard. And then also, like, I feel like the area that it would stick to, my camera's just too big. I might have to take my mic down and see if that works. And also, my remote for my camera died. So I have to go get a battery. I'm actually going to go do that right now. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is so funny because I stuck it. Hold on, I'm get my camera. <laughs> I guys I stuck this camera upside down onto my windshield and I'm literally having like mini panic attacks because that's very very scary I don't know how I feel about that I don't want my camera to fall and break oh my god like I would literally have an accident if that started falling and I don't want that to happen ow Y'all pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. Okay, we're off. I don't know how I feel about this at all. I don't 
know how I feel about this, but we're gonna try it. God be with us, Lord. Protect my camera on this windshield. <sighs> Let me be able to flip this footage and edit properly. I need some like gospel music right now because I need my soul. I need my soul taken care of. I really do. And sorry, these windshield wipers are on. They're probably super loud because they're right by the mic. I hope this isn't illegal. Because it's literally like right in front of my face and I don't want a cop to be like, hey, you can't do that. But I'm like, it's a dash camera. It probably has to be over there. Oh, God. Lord, be with me. I don't want any tickets. I don't want any accidents. I don't want to ruin my camera. Please give me grace, mercy, and protection. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Test ride over here went great. Very short. I was very nervous. I didn't want to get on the freeway or anything while I just was up here and something happened. But it looks secure. Um, I'm at the store to get batteries for my remotes because I hate recording with the camera. I need my remote. It's very quick, very easy. I just can't record without it now. Hey, oh, they got different sizes and I don't know what size I need. These are smaller. I want to say it's the smaller ones. Maybe I should have brought my remote in to see. I want to say it's this one. Let's look it up. Okay, so this is the remote that I have right here. And the battery says CR2 required. And both of these say CR2. So are they the same size? And my eyes just playing tricks on me. But this one definitely looks smaller. But now that I'm looking at them, they look the same. What the heck is the difference? I really don't know what the difference is. One says lithium, I see how they both say that. Ugh. I felt something turn, but I don't know if it was this way. Do y'all have screwdrivers? Uh, we sell them, but I don't even know if we have those. You know what, let me see if I can find them. 25 and 32. Is it turning? Um, I might have one at home. I don't know. Darn it. I'm like, is there a game right now? Hmm? Is there an event right now that you're trying to... I vlog and my, my remote just died. Oh. But, let me see. CR2032 versus... 2025. Oh, they're thick. The thickness is different. Does it say? I'm definitely like taking up your time. I'm so sorry. Oh no, you're fine. It's a slow day today. I'm just trying to save you time. Like you don't want to go all the way home and then realize it's the wrong one and then you have to come back. Why wouldn't they say the number on there? They just say CR. Like, hmm. Oh, go ahead. Let's see. Oh, that might be big. It's so tiny. 
Hola, ¿cómo está? No. No. I thought I was moving it, but it's hard to tell. Oh no, it's so tiny. I think I am moving it, but I don't know if I'm... I guess try to see if we even sell them. Right? Okay, I'm not sure if we have any in stock, but I'll try to open it from here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Let me know. I'm not going <laughs> Hopefully, we can find a screwdriver. Because, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I need that remote. Especially with this camera being on the door. Um, um, please, please, please. It was a small one. Doesn't look like they have them. Oh, mom, I have one. I don't see anything small. These are alley wrenches, but maybe they have a small one. No. Safety pin. Okay. It's not small enough, but my mom may have one. Okay, so got batteries, but cannot open it because I don't have a screwdriver. So I'm not going to go back home and actually go get the screwdriver. So that's point is I'm gonna go ahead and run these errands real quick and let's get on the road. Jesus, he will fix it after a while. Look at the sun coming out. A lovely day. The sun's coming out. It's looking like a beautiful day. Okay, it's a beautiful day. I wanna wake up to you every day Cause I feel like this forever As long as we together Okay, so we finna put on this fire lip combo Love this combo Can y'all see me? Yeah, y'all can Focus in Girl, focus in So this is Forever Matte Ruby Kisses And it's from the Beauty Supply um, the color is so beautiful and I'm literally almost out so I need to go pick up some more um, but it's Coco Craze this is what it looks like it's the writing's all gone but yeah Coco Craze I use this as like the liner lip liner because it just stays way longer than any pencil I've ever used as you can see it's still kind of on my lips but I like it to have an ombre effect and go further into my lips. Just giving a little soft, gentle blend. But I am almost out though. Okay. Look at that. It's not even coming on my lips. But it's such a like good brown. Because I always find browns that are like the same color as my skin. And I just don't like the way that looks. It look a little ashy pale um it don't give like chocolate girl like i wanted to you know so this is the closest like really good color i've gotten and it's normally darker so you have to go real light uh which makes it last longer but like i said i'm scraping the bottom of this thing and i leave the middle of my lips empty because I'm going into whatever nude this is. I have to... Let me look it up. Um, because I want to say it's Sephora. But then again, 
Like I've had this for maybe 10 years. I don't do a full like new lip. So I never have to re-up. Because I don't use it much. I just use it for the middle of my mouth. But my lips. Um, but the color is Lip Lie. Um, let me hurry up. Because I got to go somewhere. Okay. Middle. Just like that. That's it. That's literally it out right there. Smear it out so it's nice and blended. I don't put a lot because I didn't go in with this. NK New York Lip Gel. The beauty supply gel that everybody use. So I use that. Okay. And I put that in the middle and it gets a nice little new lippy. Y'all see that? Uh, make that boys go crazy. Alright. Just wanted to re-up my lips and then thought I'd share that with the vlog. <laughs> Cause you know the girls' lippies are so important. Look at that. Mm. Can I do you have like a demo of it? Yeah. I wanna see how yeah, I can just see the colors. Myself, I'm like scared I dip my to, face in gold. I'm scared to use like the liquid blush. Why? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna go overboard. Yeah, go some. Mm -hmm. So this one is dark, and then this one is deep dark. Um, Ooh, we don't have this one, but we could order it for you with free shipping if you'd like. There's. Can you check another store too? Because I'm kind of far from um, home, and it's one by my house. Let me see. Oh, I like your nails. For different reasons. Thank you. They're press on. Oh, cute. Are they? Yes. Press on or step on. See it. You're gonna you give me the things so I can see it. So I can. Yes. Look, Cause you can teach me some things. What, yes. you, what you talking about? No, you, you can teach me. You just want to pro the liquid blush? Who? I mean, yeah, but so. It's plot twist. Plot twist. I'm a DJ. Period. I'm gonna give you my Instagram. Yes, please. Because the beauty store has them. None. And they're out of stock online. That means that's the one I needed. You want to know why? Because in order, I'm back. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we do get a shipment every, we get a shipment tonight and then tomorrow as well. Okay. Um, you can call to see if we get it in uh, instead of coming all the way up here. Or I'm pretty sure all Ulta's are the same too with their shipment. So you yeah. can give an Ulta call to see if they got it in at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that back to you. Right. What about this one? If you give it to me on this one, I'll take that. This, oh, we can't sell the testers. I know. <laughs> You didn't say you can't give away the tester. You say you can't sell the tester. See, I found the thin line in between the fine print. Yeah. A little loophole. A little loophole, yeah. Come on, girl. I do production too. I do all kinds of stuff. I love that. I can help you with whatever. You know what I mean? We getting connected in Ulta. Isn't she beautiful? Hello. She's she's motivating me to use liquid blush. I got some goodies, um, as y'all saw in the video, but I got the Elf Power Grip. Y'all know I needed some more of that. And then I got some more Fenty Heat Lip Gloss in the color Hot Chocolate. So, went and got my faves, and now it's time to go get the kids. Hopefully, I don't run into too much traffic, because I'm a little far from home. Guys, guess what? My remote is working. The batteries worked. It was the right size. And now, I can go shoot content. Um actually i might not do shooting content today i i wanted to do something casual like just chill but it's really bad weather this weekend for some reason i need to go to home goods because i want to change up my studio at my house i want to change up the studio but 
nothing too serious because I feel like I do this every year but nothing too serious I just want to change like one wall because it was all hair products and I don't I don't be on that no more like if y'all haven't noticed I don't be on like the hair content anymore just because I just got bored with it and <clears throat> I don't not that I don't like my natural hair anymore but it's just not the aesthetic I be going for like it's not the look I go for in this period of my life and there's nothing wrong with that so yeah I don't really be doing a lot of hair tutorials I most likely go get my hair done get a sew in a wig some braids so yeah I don't really need that wall to be products anymore so when I move it it's just a blank wall so I'm trying to just like envision what I want that wall to look like so I'm gonna go to home goods I don't want to do anything over extravagant but at the same time I want something that I feel like I could utilize that wall for hey, how are you doing today hello I'm okay can I get um grilled nugget meal grilled nugget meal okay the and how many would you like it come at 8? 8, 8, 12, and 30. Yes, ma'am. That's too 8. 8? Yeah. And for the drink? Um, can I do a pie? Pie? Yes, ma'am. Can you just go to just a little first? Yes. Pie? Would that be a medium or a large combo? Large? Large? Yes, I'm going to be large doing pie. a lot today. <laughs> and large fries as well? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And then can I have, ooh. Do my Polynesian? Can I get a Polynesian and a barbecue? Yes, ma'am. One Polynesian and one barbecue? One Polynesian and one barbecue? Yes. That'll be all. So oh, the, shoot. Hold on, lady. So the eight count girl nugget combo, large fries, large parade, one poly and barbecue, correct? Yes, ma'am. Would you like to scan for today's Chick fil A? Um, uh, no, I'm okay. No, no worries, ma'am. I uninstalled it. I need to install it back. Did you put your uh, employee discount on there? I would do it for you, ma'am. <laughs> You're nice, cause everybody else be like, "Oh, it's not that much." No, it kind of, kind of, it is a lot, cause our prices did go up a little bit, just by a few yeah. cents, though. Yeah, they recently did go up. I would put it for you, though. I would put. Traveling. Thank you. My pleasure. And we got that poly in there. Right? Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You too. Y'all, I've never had such a worse experience in home goods. Firstly, I didn't realize that decorating certain spaces was seasonal in home goods. Like, that part kind of took me aback. So, they didn't have any of the ideas that I had in my head for my room in the store. Secondly, everything was damaged. I found an ottoman that was kind of cute. But there were two prices on it. I'm like, hey, what's the real price? One says $120, one says $60. I don't know which one it is. And it was like, I'm pretty sure it's $60 because it has these damages on it. I'm like, okay, cool. So then I go look for this business chair and it's broke. And I'm like, okay, this is completely broke. It's leaning to the side. It barely goes up and down. But luckily, I only need it for one height for my desk. How much would you, like, charge me for this? Because, like, at this point, everything in here is broke. He's like, I'll give you 10 or 15% off, sir. Your whole store is broken. Like, at this point, just send the shipment back and try again. Oh, but I did get some things. 
more of some personal things for me. I got, um, I know I'm driving and showing y'all this, but I really did need a power plug type thing. So, had to get another one of those. I got a wine opener. And then, like, holidays are coming up. My family does a lot of games, as y'all kind of know. But, got social bingo. Like a little social um, treasure hunt type thing. So, I got that, but in a wine opener which will be really nice because i'm feeling me about a wine after that experience today has not been it it says she get it from her mama i'ma say you fuck her right body but it's unpolite don't be in a humble life tell me is you down because i'm trying to go up tonight all in hope she's left or right i just want to live in a fantasy i think we deserve Hey guys, um, it's pretty late night. I am studying the Bible. I'm doing a little daily study and I'm also editing the video and I realized I did not close out the vlogs. So um, I just wanna come here real quick. I'm looking busted. It's been a long day. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to come and close out the vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really want to be consistent and be who I am today. I don't want to be held by who I was when I started my channel. So, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, um, I've been a author for a year now and I've never shared it on my channel. I've shared it on my social media and I've shared it on, um, just like my social platforms, all of them, but I haven't told you guys about it on here. I wrote this book, um, during COVID, but I published it December of 22, and it's now December of 23, and it was exactly a year ago today that it was published, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, it's really been a God-driven thing, so I've been kind of scared territory, but I think the verse of the day kind of just sat in with me it um is deuteronomy 31 6 and it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not panic for the lord your god will personally go ahead of you he will never fail you or abandon you and that's been him with this book guys i put this on amazon um last year and there hasn't been a month i i promoted two videos out of the whole year of 2023 two videos on tiktok and those two videos did amazing numbers on tiktok and has kept this book selling for a whole year and i'm going to be intentional of getting this out because it's just been, it's changed my my uh, approach of studying the bible so i just kind of that's kind of my thing god put it on my heart to publish it he's been doing his will but i kind of want to be more um a doer of work and you know share the word okay god's gonna do his thing this is his baby that he planted in me so it's gonna flourish as he showed me this last year but i want to also share the word just because it's been a blessing to me and i want it to be a blessing to you but um that's it thank you for watching this vlog love you guys so 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 much and see y'all next time it's not what I say, it's what I'm doing and how I'm doing it.